the power that we have is over there. Okay. Um, so oh, I thought yeah. that would be cool. Power's over there. Okay, on the, in the... So if you see, like, where they're buying the power, yeah. Right, but we have a power. I'll help you guys with that and get you plugged in. Um, yeah, so we're probably best to set up over in that. We're going to do our tables reach. We have we have cordless mics. Hi, they were. They asked me. I said that sure, I would go ahead and shoot the thing while we're doing it. Um, and it is so exciting for me to be back here at Dewey Square, where once upon a time we lived. And you are excited about Bernie. Why are you spending your time coming out here to do something for this Bernie Sanders dude? Um, Bernie Sanders represents pretty much everything that I could possibly, that I think my generation stands for, um, in all honesty. And I think that it's really important to actually like get out there and be a face to talk to someone about the issues as opposed to just kind of standing behind a screen and posting things on Facebook, which I think a lot of our generation is kind of used to doing. Um, I think actually being a face and talking to people and talking about the issues and getting down to the bare bones of what he's planning on doing as president is um, going to hopefully get him into office. Cool, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, my name's Bill Lewis and you were... Um... I'm Giovanna Olson. Jo Giovanna? Giovanna. Giovanna. Yes. And would you like to add your comments? Why are you spending your time here? Um, I'd have to say that there is no other candidate like Bernie, so um, getting as many people involved in his campaign. Um, we're going to put these tables somewhere, what but we have Julie to do in order to hopefully get him into office. So. From here, then. <laughs> Thank you very much. And your name was again? Sandra. Sandra, great pleasure. I suspect I will be seeing you out on the trail a bunch. Absolutely. Absolutely. Excuse me, man in cast. An impressive cast. You're here spending your time doing something for Bernie Sanders. Can I ask why? What is so important you're spending your time when you could be goofing off and having fun? You mean working for change is not fun? We need change in this country. We need uh, someone who speaks truth to power. Bernie does that, and so I'm supporting him. What are the things that he says that made you say, like, God, I gotta support this dude? He believes in having an economic system where everyone has a fair shake. He believes in a foreign policy that is geared more towards peace than towards being uh, police officers of the globe. Uh, and he's just downright honest. Uh, and it's not dependent upon uh, a corporate class or, or any of the moguls who want to influence things to their own advantage and to everyone else's disadvantage. Yes, indeed. I would could say all those things myself. Thank you very much. A worker bee. Hello, worker bee. Are you putting up beautiful balloons? Yes. May I interview you momentarily? Uh, I am sure. our videographer, etc., etc., so I am doing the personal exciting moments. Ah, uh, sure. Tell me, what are you doing? And who are you? I am putting up balloons, and my name is Diane Alexander. I am with Boston for Bernie. I am also with Tufts for Bernie, so I'm part of a student group, and I'm a college student, um, and I'm here because I support Bernie Sanders. Cool, and what is it about Bernie that made you say, God, I gotta go out and support this dude? Uh, he basically is unafraid of saying a lot of the things which I feel haven't really been said in democratic politics in the majority of the past century and mm -hmm. so and he supports the unions and he wants to make public college free which is really cool and uh, yeah and he thinks that my generation is basically uh, being kind of messed up by the generations that have come before us and he's on our side so cool thank you very much hi my name's bill lewis and i'm working to make bernie president and all that stuff and you are uh, my name's luke and i'm also volunteering for bernie 
Great, Luke. And what made you spend your valuable time out here today working for Bernie? Um, first and foremost, I had some free time, and, and more importantly, there were other people that were getting involved for Bernie, so it was, it was an obvious outlet for me to, to help out and volunteer. Uh, and, you know, I guess more important than all of that, just Bernie's message really resonates with me. And what parts of his reson message resonates with you? What, is he, what does he stand for as you're going like, yeah, I want that? <laughs> Uh, I think that he's running on a, a campaign that uh, refuses to kind of bow towards money and interests. Uh, I think that he's running on a campaign that's putting front and center uh, the decline of the working and middle class. Uh, and that he's running a campaign uh, where he's putting himself out there to talk to people and to respond to people on the spot. Those are all those things. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, awesome. My name is Bill Lewis and I'm working to make Bernie Sanders president because yeah. a whole bunch of reasons. And you are? Oh, I'm Vanessa Van Doren. I'm a med student at Case Western, but I'm from Boston, which is why I'm here for the summer. Totally cool. And what are you doing with uh, all of us right now? So I, I'm going to be helping lead the healthcare breakout session. Um, I, so I said I'm a med student. Uh, and you know when I started off in med, med school, just like seeing patients that are underinsured or uninsured, and seeing how lack of access to health insurance makes people sick, leads to preventable deaths, which is like really shocking and something that I saw right away in school. And so I got really involved in universal single payer um, healthcare advocacy. And then when I found out Bernie was running, I was so excited about that to have someone running for president and have this much of a following, uh, bringing that issue to light. So that's why I'm here support that and all of Bernie's other awesome positions. Totally cool. And so you're going to be leading a breakout session. So that means we'll have hundreds of people here and a bunch of them will just go out and talk and you'll lead a session. Yeah, I think so. Um, it's pretty, uh, I think it's pretty fluid because we want people come to actually shape how we do things. But um, the session will be just anyone who's interested in single parent universal health care or just you know, Bernie's health policy in general. We'll all gather together. Um, we'll talk about why we're interested in this. You know, why we why we think this is such an important part of Bernie's plan, and uh, we'll try to identify some themes in that, and then figure out how we're going to make this happen. Great. Thank you so much, Vanessa. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Go Bernie. Go Bernie. Previous member of Occupy, so I used to live here, mm -hmm. and you were Edward Edmund. Edmund, yes. Schlussel, it's German. And you have the grand honor of, uh, and privilege or, or whatever it is to help organize this thing right now that is so cool. What inspired you to do this? What inspires me to do this? Well, people are hungry for some kind of alternative to big money politics. And the fact that in Boston, where there hasn't really been anything, it's been a democratic machine city for decades, um, th there was a very clear space that was open. And so Julie and I uh, held a, um, a small discussion with some interested people in our studio. It was about a dozen people, and that initiated this. And this is mushroom beyond all our expectations. Um, so I'm very happy with how things are going so far. Yeah, I'm totally psyched too. Thank you very much, Edmund. Thank you very much, sir. If you're holding up, the, you can sh hold up the camera until the interview starts. At which right, I'm having fun right now. All right, good, good. I might grab somebody's shoe. Ah, hell with it. No, I. Anyway, so, it's so cool. You get to be an interviewer for WGBH. That must have been an exciting job. It's a great so, job. So are you recording Adam now? Is that the deal? At the moment, I'm screwing around. As soon as oh, we okay. start, I'll start. All right, we're ready to go. Right. And for some of the people in attendance, Sanders' presidential campaign picks up right where Occupy left off. I want my students graduating from university without debt. When big corporations violate our rights, the leader of those corporations should go to jail. When Bernie got up and started talking about these things, I said, F it, I'm going to go out there and I'm supporting that dude. Oh, what a beautiful sign! Woohoo! Julie Anna Viono. I started this as a 
Facebook thing because I was bothering all my friends and then I thought, hey, I should get together with a couple people and now we have like 1,700 people potentially coming today. <laughs> so that's fun. Um, yeah. It's, what you start? I am so, and for every, it was just been miracles after miracles after miracles. Lots of stress oh. and lots of people just like showing up. Exactly. It has been absolutely divinely inspiring and I'm so grateful for all of you stepping up and into this. To me, what this means is engagement. As a coach, what I find is people are disengaged from their life. They feel cut off, they don't feel seen, they don't feel heard, they don't know how to listen, and therefore they don't know how to speak. And so that's one of the reasons why this is so vital to just create connections with one another so that we move in the long term. But this is a long view. This is a long view. So the first view, get Bernie elected. The next view, keep the wave going. And that's what's happening. So thank you. So, did you speak? Okay. Hi. <laughs> so, any questions on this as we break out? Are you doing? Are you doing a breakout? I am not, but I can. Um, I'm trying to stay. I'm like the oil in the gear. Is, is the way I like to. Well, we got, be. John just showed up. All right, John. He's doing, what's up? Do you want to let me know what you're doing? What are you doing? I don't know. What am I doing? You're, you're doing, doing unions, thing? right? I'll do unions. All right. All right. Works. <laughs> oh, here's the thing. Sorry. Um, well, I just sticks on the fly. This is so gorilla. I love it. So, if you guys could stake a claim and, and talk amongst yourselves where you want to be, and then I'm going to have you come up, or I'll have a mic, and you can say, anyone who wants to be with women's uh, equity pay, show up over there. I don't know how else to split it up. That's Does that work well enough? Nice and organic? Can I run through what I had on yes. who's on what and see what I messed up? Yeah. I have uh, rebuilding our crumbling infrastructure. Gabe, uh, reversing climate change, Tom, creating worker co-ops, Mickey, growing the trade union movement, Don, raising minimum wage, Ryan, uh, pay equity for women, identity, uh, trade policies to benefit American workers, that's me, Marty, uh, making college affordable for all, Amy, Amy, uh, taking on Wall Street, is that another game? Yeah. All right. Uh, Health care as a right for all. That's it. Uh, protecting the most vulnerable Americans. I, is anyone on protecting I think that the most vulnerable Because it works in that same way. Yeah. So there's a big veterans for veterans for Bernie on Facebook. Um, you, I, I I don't see that on your list. But well, no, we're we're going. These are the uh, 12 steps. If you right. want to, you can have one. Do I don't know enough, you know, I'm not yeah. up on my fact points, but um, yeah. my think, kids are veterans and they're big into it in New York, and it's yeah. pretty big on Facebook where I, I keep getting it. I think it's it. My, my yeah. brother was just deployed, my father's a veteran yeah. too, so yeah, I, if, I can run done, the veterans group if we need a veteran. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know. So. Yeah, it's not. interview you momentarily? If you'd like, sure. Sure, my name's Bill Lewis. I was part of Occupy Boston, so I actually lived here oh, once really? upon a time. Cool. And I am working for Bernie Sanders for president right now, and I wanted to ask you, Liam, what was so important that made you want to come out and spend your time here tonight? Well, if I, a uh, bit of background, my father, who's going to be here shortly, he's a business ethicist, and so he's, he's made a career out of that. He teaches at the University of Wyoming about it right now. So I've sort of grown up hearing about all the good and mostly the bad things that corporate, a lot of corporations do. And the, he's worked in the, uh, for the government before. He's worked with Congress. So he talked about like, you know, some of the more immoral things that they've done. So that's been a big interest of mine. And. Uh, the whole, I didn't know about Bernie Sanders until like last year, and even then only uh, just a bit. So when I, you know, especially after he announced his candidacy, I started uh, looking into him, uh, his past and what he's done. And that whole authenticity ring that he's all about, that struck a chord with me and with him. So 
mm -hmm. we've jumped on board. And so far, we haven't really found anything issue-wise that we disagree with. Them, so. mm -hmm. And you said you were 18. Right. Use that youth vote which we always talk about. Always need the millennials. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Are there any specific values which you hold, which he shares, which made you say, holy smoky, that guy wants to eliminate student debt. Yeah, I like this guy. Good, that's a good one. <clears throat> um, yeah, education was a big one. And <clears throat> mostly his background with social issues. I, you know, I'll admit that I'm not too savvy economically. I have a pretty decent understanding of it in the current situation, but mm -hmm. uh, I was attracted to him through his uh, social stances, like uh, uh, gay marriage and uh, gender equality and equal pay for equal work, things like that. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Liam. Well, thanks, Bill. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 